Hi, this is Josh Aftel with another video on Lightroom CC. In this video, we're going to be talking about the ecosystem that Lightroom CC is a part of. We've got a number of different versions of Lightroom CC that work on a number of different devices that make it possible for you to access your photos anywhere you are and to continue working on them even if you leave your computer behind. So one of those different devices that you can use, of course, would be your phone. So either an iPhone or an Android device. In this case, we'll show you how it works on an iPhone. So here I've got my iPhone and on my iPhone, I've got all the different photos that I've already been able to synchronize with the computer that I've been adding my Cuba photos to. I didn't have to do anything. All I needed to do was make sure that I was logged into Lightroom on my iPhone or even Lightroom on my Android device with the same Adobe ID that I logged in on my desktop and all those photos will show up. And you'll see that they're all right here. If I wanna go in, I can tap on this filter icon and I can say, hey, show me all the four star photos. And so there they are. Those are the photos that I've already star rated before in the other app. Here's that one photo that we were working on, the geometry uh, we can go through. Here's the photo that we added with the, the light and color as well as the selective brushing. And now I've got access to all of those same edits along the bottom. And so what's really cool about this is I can go in and I can tap on selective and I can even see that that's the brush stroke that I added on the desktop. And if I wanted to, I can keep on adding and adding new things in there. Another thing I can do is I can look at it and I can say, well, you know what, this looks pretty good. I can modify it. And what's cool about this is it's going to now synchronize all of these edits back to my desktop. And so I can keep on going. And if I start editing on one surface, I can go out to the cafe and meet up with a friend. I'll keep on editing on my phone while I'm waiting for my friend to show up. Or I can even do some edits that are not even available yet in Lightroom CC. For example, iPhone version has the curve tool, which is not yet available inside of Lightroom CC. So if I want to, I can actually modify it more than just with the presets that are available inside of Lightroom CC. So I can go in here and I can play around with the colors and really uh, geek out on all those things if I wanted to. And that's what's really, really neat about this is I have all of the opportunities to be able to do even more because I have this full ecosystem available to me. And again, like I mentioned, all of these edits are then going to go back to the other one. I also have access to the ability to search things. So for example, I can go in here and I can do the same thing I was showing you before. I can type in sunrise and it will show me all the sunrises. It's going to be the same kind of information, uh, the same results that I had inside of the desktop. So that's one of the really great things about using these tools as an ecosystem is the ability to synchronize this with the web and be able to make shared albums on the web. So I've got this thing right now, the, the Cuba Trip, and let's say if I right click on Cuba Trip and you can select share album, it's going to create a special URL. This URL is something that only those people that you've given this link to can access these photos that are online now. But the cool thing about this is you didn't have to upload anything. They're already on the server. So that means that all you really need to do is give this URL to people and what's going to share all those photos in there, but to whomever you give that link to. And you can put it on Facebook, you can copy and paste it in an email, you can send it by a text, you can write it on a piece of paper if you like. I don't recommend that, but you could do it. Um, but if you wanna see what they would see, you click on this open URL, it's gonna open it up inside of Lightroom for you. Now, you can see that it's sharing all of the photos and maybe you don't wanna share all those photos. So let's go ahead and open up a brand new tab inside of uh, Chrome or Safari or whatever browser you happen to use. And let's type in lightroom.adobe.com. And now I'm in here and you can see under the shared collections, I can see that Cuba trip that I made and I can go over here where it says shared and I can go in and select shared options. And now I can select, do you want to share all photos, which is what it is right now? Maybe I only want to share only the picked by clicking on that one. I even have the option of saying allow people to download or see the metadata like the EXIF or the shutter speed and other kinds of information about the photos. Uh, and now I can say done. I can click on that link or I can just go back over here and hit refresh. And now what you'll see is only the photos that are picked are being shown. And I get the ability to go in here. I can tap on one of these guys. I can click on the info. You see information. This is the metadata we talked about. Uh, we can even let people comment on them. They can download the photos one at a time. Or if you click this download button over here, it'll download all the photos that are in that collection. So it's a quick way of being able to share a collection with your friends or family if they want to download all the photos. So this is a really, really powerful way of working with uh, Lightroom CC as an ecosystem. Again, you can use it with your iPhone, Android, iPad, tablet, 
Chromebook. You can use it with your web pages. We even have a Lightroom for Apple TV, uh, and we'll show that in another video at some point later on. But that's some of the really great things you can do to share your photos. And of course, if you want to stop sharing at any point, you can go back right inside of Lightroom CC. You can right click on it, say stop sharing, or you can even say view on the web copy the link if you just want to copy and paste it. So a lot of really easy ways that you can use this to share your photos with other people. Thanks a lot.